Bolus pemphigoid, or BP, is a chronic relapsing autoimmune skin disease characterized by itch, inflammatory lesions, and blister formation. In healthy skin, keratinocyte attachment to the dermal epidermal junction is maintained by specialized hemidesmosomal proteins, including BP-180 and BP-230. Patients with BP lose immune tolerance and develop autoantibodies to these proteins. Consequently, antigen-presenting cells process and display peptides of BP-180 and BP-230 to naive T-cells in the lymph node, which subsequently stimulates autoreactive T-cell proliferation. Activated T-cells differentiate primarily into Th2 cells, driven by cytokines such as IL-4, and are the main pathogenic subset. Th17 and Th1 cells are also involved in this process. Th2 cells produce type 2 inflammatory cytokines, such as IL-4 and IL-13. IL-4 and IL-13, particularly IL-4, stimulate B-cell proliferation, autoantibody production, and class switching to IgE. IgG and IgE autoantibodies targeting BP-180 and BP-230 are produced, which, upon binding, trigger inflammation through both complement-dependent and complement-independent pathways and the internalization of BP-180. Independent from complement, IgG4 and IgE autoantibodies cause keratinocytes to release inflammatory cytokines. The binding of autoantibodies, particularly IgG1, to BP180 and BP230 initiates the complement cascade, which leads to the recruitment and activation of various inflammatory cells. IL-4 and IL-13 not only mediate tissue inflammation, but also, along with IL-31, intense pruritus, a hallmark symptom of BP. This results in sensitization and stimulation of sensory neurons. The interplay between autoimmunity and predominantly type 2 inflammation, along with proteolytic enzymes, results in the development of sub-epidermal blisters in bolus pemphigoid.